Hello YouTube faithful and welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. As you may have read in the uh, description up there of what this video is about today, we're going to be talking about the Orange Super Crush. There it is. It's gorgeous, right? Like my review on the Orange Super Crush. Um Well, it's fizzy. Um, tastes a lot like, kind of like orange, like orthotic. Sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> um, not that. That. That's what I'm talking about. The Orange Super Crush. Um, orange Amplification Super Crush 100. It's the 100 watt head that orange has out there. Um, what's interesting about this is... Um, for one, it is a solid state head, which um, there's some people out there that, you know, everybody goes on and on about the uh, um, tube heads and, you know, how wonderful tubes are and stuff or whatever. They have a great sound to them. And don't get me wrong, I do like a tube head, but I kind of prefer solid state. I always have. I don't know what the attraction is. Maybe it's I don't have to replace tubes, um, or maybe it's that 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 quick bite that solid state has. I don't know. I kind of dig it. So I um, have invested into the uh, Orange Super Crush 100. It is a two-channel amp. Um, it has you know obviously a clean and a dirty channel to it. Um, they run for right around five hundred dollars just about everywhere you look. Um, there's a lot on back order right now, so they're kind of hard to get your hands on, but, you know, um, if you really are after that tone, if you want that sound, you know, it's worth the wait. Like with freaking anything anymore, right? Um, so obviously, uh, I've already got the light on. I've been tinkering some anyway. Um, let's play a little bit. I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like, and then, um, I'll, you know, unplug it and show you its special features. Um which it does have some that are very interesting. But let's hear what it sounds like first because that's the most important, right? So anyway. Obviously we will start with a, a clean tone. Um, one thing that I do want to state is that the foot switch for this is sold separately. They're not expensive. They're running right around 30 bucks. But, um, kind of a bummer if you're expecting to have a foot switch included and it's not there. So just know that ahead of time, right? Anyway, clean tone on these is... Clean, like you would expect. And it gives a beautiful clean tone. You can actually adjust, it's got a lot of reverb to it. Let me show you. We can crank that through the roof. Nice, clean tone to it, which is great. Um, if you're running a clean channel and you have like specific uh, distortion pedals or whatever that you like, that's the way to do it. Run it straight through there, hit your distortion, and it will give you a good representation of what your pedal does, right? Um, which is kind of nice, because you have some amps out there, tube amps specifically that I've dealt with before, that always have kind of like their, uh, that vibe to them that adds to your pedal. So you gotta readjust all your settings. I haven't noticed that with this yet. So uh, I'm not saying that that's a pro or con to tube versus solid state, but it's just what I've noticed. Now, pull some of this reverb back, and this uh, dirty channel that's on here, this is straight up out of the amp. I have no pedals running on this. I literally just stepped on the dirty channel on the amp. So, here we go. <laughs> Well, 
loud. I like it loud. A lot of people like it loud. This will do loud. Um, so say just a, a little reminder in there. I'm running this through a Marshall Origin 212. Um, I decided to go with the Marshall Origin, not only because I already had it, mm. but I didn't get the orange uh, 212 version because Marshall and Orange both use Celestian speakers. So, basically, you can pull the same tone. Just a little, you know, advice in there. Maybe save you some dollars, or, you know, if you've already got a Marshall cab and you just want to try a different head, it's not gonna affect your tone. So, yeah, just kinda throw it out there. Um, anyway, yeah, this thing's, I mean, it definitely has the output. <laughs> channel when I mess up hey it stays in the video so anyway uh, just trying to think of different songs that have different kind of tones to them uh, like things I don't know <laughs> It's just got a good overdrive tone to it that I actually prefer over the pedal that I typically use. So uh, it may be because it's new or whatever, but I'm kind of drawn to it and I like it. So, things fresh out the box everything was zeroed out I have played with it a little bit and uh, you know tweak the the settings so like I said with that being said let's 
show you the cool features. As I pull all the cords off of it. Um, relatively lightweight, um, like uh, lighter than, than other heads that I've had previously. This is the up close. If you can see that. You're talking orange Super Crush 100. As you see, there are no um, like labels above the knobs. It doesn't tell you what's volume and whatever, but you get pictures because, I don't know, maybe they, they just envy Ikea or whatever the deal is, um, but pretty self-explanatory. And they send you a guide too, so you can kind of you know get to know it. The other cool features involved in this are on the back. That's where you start getting into this here. If I can turn it around where I can actually see. Um, as for your speaker outputs, you have two, so you can actually run two cabinets if you want to. Um, your foot switch, you can go by channel and you can also get one for your reverb. So that's kind of cool. You can have one specifically to turn your reverb on and off or just to flip your channels. You also have a full effects loop in there. Um, this is kind of the cool thing here, is you have this uh, XLR output that will send the signal from the head out with a, uh, like this, their, like cab simulation technology is what they list it as. Um, that button on the side, you can actually switch it between an open back cab or a closed back cab. So um, in the studio or running live sound, that type of stuff, you can actually run an XLR line straight to the board and it'll pick up just the head. You're not pulling anything from the cab and you can actually dial in your tone a little bit better. It's more direct, like straight to the soundboard, whether it be live or in studio. So I kind of thought that was kind of cool. Um, like I said, that's pretty much it. If you're like me, the switches, them old school, like, you know, toggle switches, like those are just cool. So it's nice to have one there. Plus the big orange jewel light, just cool little extra added features. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, Orange Amps are made in England. Um, they were from a company that was founded in 1968, so they've been around for a very long time. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of notable artists are using Orange Amps through the years. Um, many, everybody knows, uh, Jimmy Page is an Orange Amp user. Um, I know Courage and Conformity uses Orange Amps. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. Okay, like you could really look them up and, and see a bunch of orange users. Um, and I see why. They give great tone. Um, like I previously had used other modeling amps, um, which I mean, like uh, I have a Marshall Code 50. I've got a video out on that one. Um, I played through the like Line 6 stuff, the spider amps. You know, I think everybody's had their, their little run through those. Um, that they're almost too complex to use. Um, they're fun to play with. I mean, as for sit down and practice or even record with, I'm sure that they're they're absolutely great. You can just spend all day dialing your sound exactly perfect, and you know that's fine. Um, to take it live, I had challenges. I'm not saying. I mean, maybe I should have spent more time with it or whatever. You know. Maybe I'm just old school, which I for real believe. In saying that, instead of all the different dialing in and saving presets and all that stuff, this is a straight up old school style amp. This is two channels with just enough controls to control those two channels. You dial in your tone and that's where you're sitting. You know, it is straightforward. There are no, it's not going to lie to you. What sound you get, what you dial in, that's what you're going to get. Um, I love that. Very much so. So that's what led me to, you know, become an Orange fan. So, um, I said, I am extremely happy with it. I hope that, uh, you know, this video isn't incoherent because I feel like I've rambled quite a bit. I've played some. I'm pretty excited about the amp. That's what I'm saying. I got it. I was happy with its sound. I was happy with its simplicity. 
happy with the price. Um, like I said, this channel is all about the, the active musicians, the ones that are out there in the trenches playing these little crappy clubs and entertaining the masses night after night after night. And maybe we ain't making thousands of dollars every gig. So you search the market, you find what's, what's out there, uh, top of the line for the price, what's going to be great and not let you down. Well, found another one and it's sitting right there. I'm impressed with it. I will play several gigs with it and maybe in the future I'll cap back and let everybody know how it's doing. You know, what the response was and you know how it's holding up. It may be, I don't know, a year down the line, right? So anyway, um, I said, I dig it. Um, I could go into all the specs and stuff and make this video last, you know, two hours and stuff and tell you about the the uh, AV preamps in it. And I could tell you about all the, the wattage, the output, the transistors, how it is basically replacing the valve amps and stuff. But you can get into the spec sheets and find that out for yourself if you're really into it. This video is all about, that sounds cool. It's easy to use. Um, I like it. That's all I can say. So, um, like, share, subscribe, you know, feel free to come back. There's more guitar stuff to put out there. Um, as I get it, you'll hear about it. So, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, when we are back in the Guitar Dungeon for some new stuff or maybe some comparison videos. Got those coming up in the works too. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.